The overall goal of the following procedures is to demonstrate how Medicago truncatula embryos can be obtained at different developmental stages to investigate the genetic regulation of embryogenesis in plants. This can be accomplished by linking pod morphology with the different zygotic embryo developmental stages and by culturing leaf explants to obtain somatic embryos at the different stages. Ultimately, quantitative PCR and beta-glucuronidase can be used to assess the expression of genes during embryogenesis at the specific developmental stages of interest. The advantages of these techniques now, the tagging of individual flowers is not required for the in vivo experiments and our optimised in vitro procedures provide complementary experimental approaches. Visual demonstration of the culture procedure is important because it allows the details of the manipulations to be more closely followed. Demonstrating the in vivo procedure will be Jin Ding Wang, while Kim Nolan will be demonstrating the in vitro procedure. To facilitate zygotic embryo development, pierce the surface of the seed coats of seeds from a Maticago truncatula plant and soak the seeds overnight fully covered in water. The next day, sow three seeds in each of 10 15 cm diameter pots in potting mixture and transfer the pots to a glass house. Grow the plants under a 14-hour photo period with a 23 to 19 degrees Celsius day-night temperature retaining the healthiest seedlings after germination so that there is